All right. Hey, folks. So we are looking today at solving some equations that have fractional terms, right? And I'm going to specifically talk about this concept of fraction busters when solving these equations. Okay. So these are equations that have fractional terms, but I want to get into this idea of fraction busters to solve them. Okay. There's multiple ways to solve them, but we're going to look at fraction busters. This, by the way, is CPM course three, and this is section um, 5.1.2. Okay. So if I have a uh, equation, I'm going to rewrite this so we can see it bigger. It's X divided by two plus X divided by six equals seven. So there's my equation. I mean, I could get a common denominator and add those two fractions based on that, or I can look at this as an opportunity to get rid of the fractions and not have to deal with fractions. That's fraction busters, right? So I'll write that word, fraction busters. So what is a fraction buster? A fraction buster is looking at the fractions and deciding what number or term do I multiply each of them by in order for all the fractions to go away. The best way of thinking about this would be finding the common denominator. So the fraction busters normally is your common denominator. Okay, your fraction buster is your common denominator. So that being said, two and six, those are my only new denominators. So the common of those is six. Two goes into six, six goes into six. So what I do is I take and I multiply each term by six, but I can't forget I have to multiply every term that's in the equation. There's three terms right now in that equation, so every term gets multiplied by six. That way, I still have an equivalent fraction, right? I have nothing, the equality is still there. The equality of that, of this statement is still there by multiplying each term by the exact same thing, okay? So that being said, so we look, and I, in order to, to complete this, I'm um, dividing now i've got six times x over two right so i would actually put that six over one and why does this work is because that those two the six in the numerator here two in the denominator here they simplify out the two becomes a one the six divides to be a three right two goes into six three times so when i now multiply this term i get three x so no more fraction now i have just a three x and over here, the six, take that over one, and the six, those actually each divide out and become one, right? So they divide completely out. They simplify out. And all I'm left with is just x, or I could say one x. And that equals six times seven is 42. Now I've got a nice equation. I no longer have uh, fractions, so I can just combine my like terms here. So I get four x is equal to 42 and then divide by four to do the opposite operation, the inverse operation here. If that's multiplication, I use division to eliminate that four. So X is equal to, well, four goes into 42, uh, looks like 10 and a half, 10.5, or, or you could have reduced this just, or simplified this to be 21 over two, either way. Okay, there's A. So B, let me rewrite B for you so we can see it. B is X divided by nine is equal to the quantity two X divided by two, which is equal to one third. Oh, I didn't mean to put equals there. That should be a plus sign, sorry. That's a plus sign. This one's interesting because if I look, I actually could actually, before I even begin, simplify this and it would actually divide. I might do that just to be realistic and I, I can have a different fraction buster here. So this is X divided by nine plus two X over two is just X, right? The twos divide out equals one third. I still want to use fraction busters though, because I still have this X divided by nine and that one third, but it makes it nice because now my common denominator is nine. I didn't have to worry about that too. My common denominator is nine. So I'm multiplying everything by nine. 
When I multiply x over 9 times 9, that, that inverse operation cancels those 9s out, and you're just left with x or 1x. I have plus 9x is equal to, and then 1 third of 9, or 1 third times 9, is 3. So now I have a nice equation without um, fractions. 1x plus 9 is 10x equals 3. Divide both sides by 10 to eliminate the 10 and isolate the x. And 3 over 10 is 3 tenths which could be written as a fraction or three-tenths as a decimal. Okay, there you go.